Mr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Today's video features a man accused of abusing a five-year-old child so badly that she dies from her injuries. In October 2018, five-year-old Zakaria Robinson was spending the evening like any typical child her age, playing, watching television, and occasionally pushing boundaries with the adults in her life. Unfortunately for Zakaria, her mother's boyfriend, Jonte Harris, lacked the parental understanding needed to gently correct normal childhood misbehavior. Instead, Harris severely beat Zakaria until she lost consciousness. Zakaria's mother, Michelle Kenimore, allowed her child to lie on the couch completely unresponsive for five hours until she took her to the emergency room. Harris and Canamore concocted a story about Zakiria falling and hurting herself in the shower, but detectives became suspicious when the evidence didn't bear out their claims. I'm Detective Russell, it's Detective Devereaux. I appreciate you being down here. I've been down here a long time. Um, we've been dealing with this issue, but we wanted to uh, want to come in and talk to you. Yes, sir. Get some information from you. I'm going to grab some of this basic stuff real quick before we start talking. Just like your name and all that. What's your first name? J O N T E. Jonte? Yes, sir. What's your middle name? Dominique. Harris. Is Dominique, D O M. I N I Q U E. And you said Harris? His last name. Alright. And what's your date of birth? 05 191992. 51992. Uh, what's a good phone number for you? Uh, you'll have to ask my girlfriend. I just have got phone number. She's got a new number? I got it. Is it the same number? Do y'all share a phone? No. It says y'all have separate lines? Where do you live? Uh, all right. And uh, just real quick, who all lives in the house? How long have you lived there? I just moved in the summertime. Summertime? Was it early summer, like July or all summer? Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, anytime I would speak to anybody downtown, we've got to complete uh, uh, these constitutional rights, okay? It's just part of our policy. It's just a important part of the process. A um, place. I'm going to put PMB. That's just the Police Memorial Building. Okay. Uh, it's just the abbreviation. Today is 10-18 of 2018, and the time is 11:34. Uh, A.M. Okay. Um, have you had any drugs or alcohol today? No. Um, do you have any type of uh, mental condition that would keep you from understanding what we're talking about? No. Okay. Uh, can you read? Yes. And you can you write as well? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I know some of those questions are weird. Uh, can you read that first line for me? You have the following rights under the United States Constitution. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest. Um, you do not have to make a statement or say anything. Do you understand that? Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you. And you have the right to have an attorney with you during any questioning. Do you understand that? Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to you before any questioning begins, if you wish. Um, if you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult a, a lawyer. Do you understand that? Okay. All right. <clears throat> what I need you to do is just you can read over those and examine if you want, and then just sign at the bottom for me. Um, okay, so so we're basically we brought y'all here because we're trying to get a better understanding of what happened uh, at the house. Okay. Can you, let's just start from the, do you work anywhere? No, I go to Tulsa Wilderness. You go to, okay, Coastal, okay. Um, what time did you, did you go to school yesterday? No. Okay, so were you home all day? Yes. Okay. And then say about five o'clock um, p.m. Where, who all, who all was at the house? We all be home. Everybody was there. Okay. So, <clears throat> at what point did y'all go to bed? Uh, usually, well, some days Michelle work. I usually go to bed right after she goes to work. She usually goes to work around nine. Okay. And I go to bed around eleven. Okay. Okay. So, did she go to work last night? Yes. Harris is very soft-spoken, which is almost standard in cases involving child abuse. Suspects will try to control their mannerisms to appear calm and non-threatening to give the impression that they are incapable of violence. 
Okay. And she came home early. She came home early. Okay. What, what time does she go to school? About, or I mean, not school, but work. work. She goes to work. She catches uh, 16 around 9 40, I want to say. Okay. 9 40. Like and so she goes to work. What time does she come back home? It varies between like 4. What last night? What time does she Okay. Come home? Uh, yeah. 3. Okay, she, she came home early, early. Okay, she came home about three o'clock. And why did she come home early? Did she say? No. Okay, she just came home. Yes. Okay, so she got home at three. Um, where were you at at that time? Were you sleeping? I, no, I was in the living room watching TV. Okay. Um, so you in the living room watching TV? Where Where were the girls? I was in her room in the front with me. Okay. Um, was she watching TV with you? No, she was laying down. She was sleeping. Okay. What time? What about what time did she go to sleep? I can't tell you. Okay. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't pay attention, like not to her sleep. So, <clears throat> when she when she's in there, she's on the couch, I guess. Yes. So she's on the couch, and she'll watch TV with you till she falls asleep. Yes. Okay. So you're not sure what time she actually fell asleep because she's watching TV and all that. And then the other daughter was in the or the other uh, little girl was in the back in her bedroom. Is that is that normal? Is that normally the way that? No. Yeah. Okay. It, it's sometimes uh, when school. She'll stay up. Okay. School. So okay. she just be up whenever she falls asleep. She just falls, she falls asleep. asleep. Okay. And she so she'll um, she'll sleep on the couch sometimes, but she'll also sleep in her room sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Michelle got home. Then what happened? Um, Michelle got home. Everything was still normal. We was chilling. You know. Um. The I was already still in the living room. Michelle went and told her that's when she got the medicine and all that. And then Michelle told her to go to the bathroom. What what medicine are you talking about? I don't know the name of it. Okay. But uh, one of the officers went to the house and it's in an orange bottle. One of the bottles, her bottle's gone, but not the same exact bottle. Okay. They both got prescribed the same thing. Okay. Um, after that, after she gave her the medicine, she took her to the she took her to the bathroom. She's on the couch. She peed on the couch. Okay. And she took her to the bathroom. Once all that was done, she was taking a bath. They normally do that. I don't. I don't. So after every time after she she pees herself or pees the bed or the couch. Yeah, that they that when they go take a break, that take avoids a bath. from us whooping whooping them. So yeah, no, like don't do it. But you also need to be clean because like, they piss to be strong. Right. So. Okay. So they're so they're in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Both of them are in the bathroom. No, 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 no. Just her. This was around the same time Michelle got off of work. Okay, so Michelle comes home, finds out that she had peed on the couch, the couch mm -hmm. gets her up, takes her into the bathroom. Then what happened? That's where I got lost. I'm sorry. Okay, when she took her in the bathroom, she was already in the tub. She ran the, uh, the water was running in there. She was washing. Okay. Now when we was in the living room, she came back. Michelle didn't eat dinner. When we came back, she said she heard. A, I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. Me, I wasn't. It's not like I wasn't paying attention. It was like, I'm paying attention, but who would, you know what I'm saying? But Something not, that's yeah. normal. Right. You know what I mean? So when she heard that, we both rushed there and we seen her. The way she fell, she fell up. She must be fell up under the water because her whole face was like this. Okay. So when we grabbed her, I seen suds come out of her mouth. I already know how things are. So I told Shell, call the ambulance. So when we both got on the phone, they told us how to do the... Uh, the CP CPR, the CPR thing. Okay. So when she's in the when she's in the bath, Michelle comes out because she didn't eat dinner. She was gonna get some food or something. Yes. Okay. And that's when she heard the thud or the the noise, and she told you, "Hey, did you hear that? Something wrong." And then y'all went into the bathroom. Uh, yes. And you saw her. She was so she was laying in the bathtub facing right. the water. Um, okay. The spigot thing. I the tub, that. and you have the faucet like this. Uh huh. She's laying like this. Like face down with the water coming down her, onto her shoulder or onto her face? Her, face, her head. Her face okay. like. The story starts out with a plausible scenario involving simple neglect. It's all too common for a small child to be left in a bathtub unattended, and drowning can happen quickly. But if Harris and Cattamore truly raced to the room as soon as they heard the child fall, she shouldn't have been that far gone. This is the faucet. This is towards the bathroom door. Okay. And her arm like this, and she's like this. Okay. So we grabbed her out the tub, and when we flipped her over, 
you can see suds coming out her nose okay. and out her mouth. So she had water all up in her? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> How long do you think from when you heard the the thud did you guys make it into that room? Well, I say 15 minutes because Michelle had just came home around. 15 minutes between when you heard the Before noise? she came home and when she did that. Okay. But what about when you... you oh, how long, it, how long it took us to get to her when we heard the noise? Yeah. Oh, ASAP. Yeah, just a couple seconds yeah. at most. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys pull her out. You call 911. Um, they tell you how to do CPR. Uh, are both y'all doing CPR? Yes. Okay. Uh, she started first, and then I think the person on the phone told her to go unlock the door. So I started, and she was like, count, count with me, count with me, count with me. Then Michelle came back and did it. She was doing it, and I blew on her nose, and then we switched because she was opening up the door, mm -hmm. and that's when the pair of masks came. Okay. Okay. Um, so when y'all pulled her out of the the bathtub, she didn't have any clothes on or anything like that <clears> because <throat> she was in the shower and all that. And was she standing up? Was she taking a shower or was she taking a bath? A bath. Okay. Do you know how much water was in the in the bath there? Okay. So she would... It shouldn't have been a lot, but the tubs usually stop up, so... Okay. I don't, I can't really call because okay. I didn't, not realistically, I didn't see it. You didn't see it, you weren't paying attention to that part. Okay. Um, so just, just so I understand, again, I want to make sure I understand it really well. Michelle came home from work about three o'clock. She comes in, realizes that, uh, she peed, that she peed the couch there, tells her, get on up, go in there, we're going to clean up. So they both go into the bathroom together. Um, get her in the bathtub, and then Michelle comes back out um, to get dinner or what have you, and then here's a, a thud or a boom, and y'all go immediately running back in there and see that she is uh, face down, kind of up yeah. against the wall of the bathtub, and the water's coming down and hitting her face, nose, mouth, all that area. Yes, um, y'all reach, grab her out, pull her out, and she's she's not responsive, right? Is she responding that time? No, I mean, she, is she breathing? It was. It was like a slow breath. Cause I had put my ear to her mouth, and then I had put my ear to her heart, and I I thought I was hearing a heartbeat. Okay. So and then I heard, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm seeing, a, but when I started seeing the suds come out her nose, I was thinking like logically, like, oh, that's probably like the same thing as blood. So call the ambulance. I don't, okay. I don't know. What to do. Okay. Okay. Um. So y'all try CPR, then the EMTs get there and they they scoop her up and take her away. Yeah, they grab her quick. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Do you have any questions about the initial? Um, no, I was going to ask a little, couple of follow-up questions. Did the kids go to school? Down the street from the house, but then she stopped going there. So she stopped going there? Well, her mom told me she had uh, the social problem, because like, if we say school, oh, she's she's not talking. Mm -hmm. She never was social. When I first started dating Michelle, she never was social. Mm -hmm. The whole time, I never, it never was, like, throughout the day, I say rarely she'll say on her own about 15 words. But if we talking to her, she'll say whatever we say when we repeat it. Okay. That's it. Okay. So That's she how. she didn't, do you think she understood what you were saying? I don't know. Uh, her father, her, her biological father, mm -hmm. from what I hear from all their family, he has mm -hmm. a condition. So I don't, I don't know if that affects him, I mean her. But what, what was his? What's his condition? What I, you would have to ask uh, Michelle or okay. her family members. They, um, something happened where either he had got shot in the face, but it's something wrong with his brain. I guess. Okay. That's one thing I can assume. Okay. Okay. Did um, so I didn't. I don't think I missed the answer. Maybe we got off topic real quick. Um, she stopped going there when? Around August or September. So she stopped going a couple, one or two months ago. Mm -hmm. um, and do you know why she stopped going? For the social. Because she wasn't. Her mom took her out because it was a social thing. She didn't want to, She it was just daycare anyways. It wasn't like she was a uh, kindergartner or something doing like some grades that can surpass her. It was more of, we're going to put her in school so we can have something during the day. I go to school in the mornings. So my me going to school in the mornings, her being home and she works nights. Okay. So she said, instead of spending the money, you decided to keep her in no, the house? No, mornings. All right. Mornings. Like, if she works at night, I go to school in the morning. She wants to be home, sleep, get yeah. her rest, and she wants to take her daughter, go to daycare. You know, then she took her out and just had her wear. So she just watched her herself instead of taking her to daycare. Mm -hmm. Not a, <clears throat> Nothing happened in the daycare? 
that made her mad at them or unhappy with them. It's just no. She just decided to keep her home for just nothing. Family they reasons. always speak and they always happy. They always <clears throat> joyful. There's nothing going okay. on. Daycare isn't a good fit for every child, and parents sometimes remove them after a trial period. Harris makes a mistake when he says that there was nothing wrong. If nothing was wrong and the child was always happy with daycare, then why take her out? In an effort to make everything appear normal, he has left the police to think the only reason for terminating daycare was to hide something. Okay. What, um, with, with the kids themselves, the two girls, do they get along pretty well? Yes. Okay. Um, are they, I mean, I know siblings argue and fight and all that. Do they, do they no, fight no. a lot? They don't fight much at all. They don't fight at all. Okay. So there's, they're not tussling or wrestling or, you have, you have siblings? Yeah. You have brother, sister? You have a brother? Yeah. Did you guys fight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I did too. So then that's why I asked that because me, and even me and my sister, we wouldn't tussle as much, but we would, we'd fight a lot. Her girls, no, I can honestly say, no, they never. They don't fight at all. They never fought. It's not okay. like, even when I first came around, I'd be joking like, oh yeah, come on y'all, let's go play fight. No. Not a bit, huh? Okay. No, it's not, it's not, it's not on that. No. Okay. Um, and you said, you said that she's a little bit, uh, um, socially awkward does she go outside and play with her kids in the neighborhood in the apartment complex uh, or? no michelle's not really trustworthy of the neighborhood okay um i have kids when they come over then they socialize together okay is she pretty social with other with your kids yes okay so she'll play with them she'll play with them. kids it's like it's, it's she picks and chooses who she wants to talk to okay um when she's around kids it, you have to warm her up into it. The last time I seen her actually active was at my mom's house and we was all playing kickball. Okay. So she was very active. I was looking at Shell, I was like, look at this. I never heard her count. And then she just started counting. Out of nowhere. And I was okay. like, whoa, because she's not crazy. Yeah. I figured that. Yeah. It was just she had a social problem. I thought I was like, okay, since she's not talking, maybe she's just gonna grow out of it. I thought she was just shy. Right. So, but she plays with her. Does she play with her sister and talk to her sister and yeah. all that, and they get along well? Yes. Okay. Um, so, have you ever seen the two fight? No. Never physically seen them fight. Okay. Never. <clears throat> and then um, the. Do y'all go outside as a, as a little family group? Go yes. outside and. Michelle said something about that y'all that y'all run, that y'all yeah, exercise, exercise and what have you. Does she take part in the exercise? Does she yes, the enjoy last, the running and the stuff? Lat, no, she doesn't she enjoy, enjoy it. I don't enjoy running either. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Some days she enjoy it when, like I said, when we playing, like, oh, come on, chase her. Whoever beat me to the house, he'll give you some chips, and then she'll do that. But if we just on some exercising, if it was just me and Michelle, and then Michelle be like, oh, no, get the girls because they can't stay in the house. And when we were running, the last time she ran, it was like the worst. Okay. Is she she just didn't want to run? No. Was she what what did she do? How did she react to um, to that? She was running. First, usually she runs fast like this, but I figured something was going on cuz she was uh, 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 and I was like, "Come on, on. Come on, come on." And then all of a sudden she pick her up. She started running again. She started running again then she slid. Right. That's how she got her bruises and then okay. The last run, that same day we was coming from the store, going around the block, there's a, I forgot how the doctor said it, uh, but it's something in the road on the lake shore. The sidewalk goes like this, and then it goes in, and then it comes back up, and they have like a cone right here. Okay. And the parts of it that come out, when she was running, she must be tripped, because we all, well, I didn't trip, but we all tripped her, Michelle, and they fell. And we picked her up. Then I seen bruises like this on her, on her arms. So I was like, come on, come on, come on. This was, I want to say last week, I want to say Friday or Thursday. Okay, Thursday or Friday or last week. And we were more on some, well, I was scared. Shell was scared, of course. And I was like, well, maybe we should call the doctor. She was like, she seems fine. It was just bruises. So she went to go to 7-Eleven and just buy the little creams and stuff mm -hmm. to put on her to calm the bruises. Five-year-olds don't have the speed or endurance to go running with adults. It's a very thin excuse to explain her bruises and only one step up from claiming she got hit by a door. 
And when you say bruises, were they like black and blue or were they like scrapes? Like it was you scrapes. your knee or whatever. They, these were scrapes, but when she hit her face, her face, this part. She got bruises up here? Yeah. What about on her eyes? Anything? Right here? Yeah, she have anything? Like you? I, no, I didn't see that. Nothing there, just it was on the side right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And that you said was last Thursday or Friday when y'all was running? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, any, to your knowledge, has she, has she, has she hurt herself any other times? I mean, broken any bones, twisted any ankles? I don't know ankles? if she broke any bones, but she usually, like, she'll do little stuff to hurt herself, like biting, biting her tongue. I used to hear her do the, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah, okay. that's what it sounds like. You said but she would bite her tongue? Yeah. Okay, like to make her tongue bleed or just bite it? Not to make it bleed. I never bite seen it. this like this. Okay. Like, like just the tip like, of it in her teeth. Like how girls like they stick the tongue out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but she uh, she doesn't do it all the way. Okay. It's like a little bit and then she like this. And then she goes <laughs> Okay. It was a habit. Okay. Does she does she a daycare ever bite other kids or anything like that? Or is she just like biting her tongue? I I, I never know. You'll never know? Okay. Never know. But she doesn't bite her sister or no. try to bite y'all or anything mm -hmm. like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. She ever bite herself? Not that I know of. Okay. Okay. Usually they share rooms or home rooms. They have two separate rooms, but then lately keep around each other in the same room or a couch or a switch. Okay. Um, back to when she's running, you said she was falling. Was she falling like a fake fall? I mean, kind of like diving, like, I don't want to run no more. And she would fall down, or was she like I exhausted say that. to a point? Yeah, I mean, she was exhausted, of course, when we were running distance. It wasn't like around, we were going straight shots. Like, yeah. Going straight, and it's like in between. It seemed, it looked it fake, but it also looked it real, in a sense. Because it's like, you... Uh, and you're you're crying, you're whining is real. Yeah, yeah. And you're exhausted, and how you falling, you may be falling fake, but by the time you get down, it's, it's real. real. Okay, okay. And was she hitting her head, or was she hitting her arms, or? Like I said, when she fell on that one, that little thing that's like that, that's what I saw. I okay. saw her hit all of this. When she tripped and fell. Yes. Okay. Uh, before, no, other than tonight. I mean, well, early, uh, yes, um, last night from the heads and all that, because the doctor had just put us up on information about her having damage in her brain. Mm -hmm. We never knew that. Okay. Like, I didn't know that. Shell didn't know that. But I used to ask Shell the same question that the doctor used to ask when we first got together. Like, does she have a problem just because her dad has a situation? Like, what's wrong with her? I used to think... Uh, I said, is she like epileptic or is she? Well, the problem uh, that her dad has, because I, I know I know the situation with him, okay. is he got shot, okay. and that messed with some of his brain, and it wasn't something that her, it was hereditary or anything like that. So I don't think it has any relation to to the dad. But obviously, the way you're explaining, it, there's something it has to you know be. that there that goes on. But she's never been diagnosed or taken to the doctor. I've only like been with Michelle for a year. Okay. Um, when you've been with Michelle, have you seen Michelle take her to the doctor for anything? No injuries, no broken bones, twisted ankles, nothing. Okay. Nothing. nothing. Okay. We, um, <clears throat> I dated Michelle February. Between that and July before I moved in with her, I never seen that. We wasn't really like seeing each other like that. It was mm -hmm. just like occasionally. But when I moved with her, she didn't have her kids for the summer. They were with her dad. Okay. And then he then they came back around August, to a little daycare from August to either September or she got out in August. One of those it wasn't long. I knew okay. it wasn't long and she got out. Okay. Um now do you pretty do you guys pretty much stay around the house when, when you're not working or, or going to school? Yes. Either you staying in the house, watching movies, cooking. Um, but y'all usually together all all the time. All all y'all are all together. You really don't go out and do much. Okay. Um <clears throat> Now, when the, when the kids act up, what's done? You know, when they're not following directions and they're and they're I'm like getting in the corner, and she doesn't. I uh I tell her, oh, you're not going to eat, and then she eats late, or she doesn't eat her favorite food, which is she likes to eat pizza, pancakes, chicken, or eating what we eating, and then the worst thing is the night oh no TV. Okay. Yes, so she and she she responds to that. 
you know, by saying, hey, you're going to eat later, you're not going to get your favorite food or no yeah, TV she, tonight. Yeah, she has the older sister. Okay. Yeah, she gets right. You used to tell Shell, like, it's, it's had to be something wrong with her because she been, like, on some, like, zoning out lately, like, way before all this happened. It was like she been was on some zoning out. I used to think it was, like, seizures or something. I don't know. Okay. I don't, that's why I say epilepsy. I don't know what's going on. I'm just spitballing things because I, right. I, I, right. don't, I don't know. I'm with you. I'm with you. So with her, you said that she goes in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, what about past that? What if she's in the corner and she doesn't, she won't stay there? She keeps talking back or whatever. No, she doesn't talk back. Uh, when she, she, uh, when she's in the corner, she usually, if she's zoned out or she goes from being like this, and then she goes to being like this, and then she starts swinging around, doing this, and then she starts doing this, and I'll be like. So she'll respond back when you holler at her? Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, do, do you ever have to discipline her, spank her, anything like that? I spanked her a few times, like once or twice, but her mom spanks her. Okay, her mom's the, the one that disciplines her. The discipline. Why is that? You just... Harris is careful to emphasize the non-physical forms of punishment first until he is asked a direct question. While he admits to spanking occasionally, he quickly shifts those actions onto Cannamore. Uh, because of the fact of peeing, the last time I spanked her was when she used the bat. She bowed moved on the floor. Okay. That was it. But my mom, her mom, her, and her dad was like, no, this and that. And I said, I understand because I have a son. And right. he's been in the situation with my uh, baby mother and her boyfriend whooping him with a belt. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be a contradictor because... Right. I'm with you. Yeah, I, I completely understand. I just wanted to get your, your opinion on it. Okay. So, so it's mom, it's Michelle that usually does a discipline or spanking. Um, tell me about that. How, how does she do that? What does she use? Hand? What does she use? Hand um, on the butt. Okay, hand on the butt. Does yeah. she ever use a belt or... She uses a belt. She, she doesn't use it like full out or from the buckle to the long, she doesn't whoop like that or nothing okay. like She folds it about twice, same thing like she does with her hand, not too much, just. Okay. Um, when's the last time you saw? A spanking? Yeah. This weekend. This weekend, okay, she was acting up to where she had to be spanked? No, that was just the bowel movement. It oh, that, that was the bowel movement where you, <clears throat> you had to spank her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Prior to, when was the last time that you oh, saw yeah, mom Michelle, spank her? Yeah. Uh, Last week, last week or probably the week before. Okay. And was that with the belt or with just the hand? The hand. Okay. The belt, the belt, uh, the belt stopped based off of, uh, she don't, she just didn't like it because I don't know, I don't know why reason she just said she just doesn't feel right whooping her child with a belt. Okay. And, but she just used her hand because she, she can handle talking to her because she cooperates more with a belt. When she gets the belt, she just... Yeah. Just looking, and then when she used her hand, oh, okay, mommy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. Okay. How many times does she usually have to have to spank her before she'll? Um, like I said, twice. Twice three, usually. Three, three or four at the most. Okay. Nothing more. I never see nothing. Is it the more. bear behind, or is it through the through the clothes? What she uh, she usually spank her? Panties. Okay. Like shorts down spank on the panties or they might not all the way be down like in between and is she squirming or is she fighting or is she basically is the baby her, fighting yeah. away from it yeah. yes okay she'll be trying to trying you know, to get away, away well, from it yeah okay um but past, past the spanking have you seen any other type of discipline that takes place none whatsoever no whatsoever okay um you have a follow-up right now I will, because you're, you're all the way done. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, the, the reason we're here, I'm, I'm going to cut through the chase. The reason we're here is uh, basically there's injuries mm -hmm. to the child that aren't consistent with falling in the shower. Okay, there's a lot lot more that's happened, a lot more that's gone on. Yeah, just what uh, the doctor said. There's a lot more bruising that's there that is not consistent with anybody's story. Uh, we're trying to figure that out. We're trying to determine what happened. 
and <clears throat> we're trying to to get to the bottom of it to figure out who's who's causing these injuries. Now, with her, let me ask you this: uh, If somebody is physically causing harm to this child, what do you think should be done to that person? Um, the person needs to be figured out. Needs to be figured out. Okay. Um. Why? Why you're doing it? Okay. Um. Punishment wise, um, what do you, how do you think they should be punished? I will leave that up to the lawmakers. I wouldn't want to be a judgment. I wouldn't know. What if it was your child? If it was my child? You got a, you have a son or daughter? I have a son. Okay. Um, what if it was your son? I would want, to be honest, I would yeah, want to get honest. revenge for my child. Okay. That's just being honest. Okay. I wouldn't use law enforcement. I know that sounds crazy. Right. I'd probably be in either dead or in jail somewhere thinking like that, but I've been in a situation like that before where my um, son got whooped, so if it was my child, yes. What, what about what about those little girls that live in your house? Yeah. I mean, obviously you care for them. Yes, I can I, tell by looking at you. So if somebody's intentionally hurting those children. I would want to find out. You'd want to find out. Is it a revenge situation, or is it something you think law enforcement should put them in jail? I mean, what are you, what are you thinking? I need you to be honest with me. Okay. The detectives are starting to press harder, and as their tone shifts, Harris shrinks into himself, barely giving verbal answers to their questions. He knows they're suspicious, but all he can do is hold out and hope they won't be able to disprove his lies. You need to be very honest with me. What's going on in this house? A revenge situation. Okay. Um, something's going on in that house. Okay. And you? And Michelle and the two girls were there last night. Yes, sir. Okay, it was just just, just us. Nobody, nobody else there. And we're something happened in that house last night, and it's been happening in that house. That the medical evidence is going to be very clear. There's going to be no doubt um, of what happened and what occurred. Not only with the injury to the head, not consistent with falling in the shower and you know getting an injury there. Uh, there's other injuries that are on her. Um, that don't make sense. Yeah. They don't make sense at all. And we will get to the bottom of it, but it depends depends where you want to be in this whole thing. Well, like I said, me and Michelle, we don't do no crazy stuff like that. Like, that's what I know for sure. Now, as far as her falling and her injuries that we seen, that's what we saw. I didn't even know that the baby had... Uh, other injuries around her, the little bite marks. I don't want to blame nobody, but I'm ashamed of what the hell is going on. You feel me? Um, so you you're the one that brought up the bite marks on her. I brought up uh, the fact that right now I'm, I'm who's biting her? Because you you told me that her sister don't bite her. I don't and bite she her. She doesn't bite herself. Uh, so Michelle you? doesn't. I don't. I never see Michelle bite her. I, I haven't bite her. Um, I never seen fighter. I don't know if she bit herself. I don't know if another adult bit her. Some sometimes, sometimes we get in situations with kids, and you have kids. Yes, I do. Um, where you get so frustrated that you lose control. Yes. That, and you go too far. I can tell you an example with me and my son, specifically where he had a handprint on his behind because I was so upset, and. That never should have gone that far. Yeah, but it had, did because I was she so has, mad. She, she had a bruise that I never whooped her before like that. She has a bruise on her on her butt. Now she did have one bruise on her butt that came from a whooping. But Carrie's, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't want to blame it on nothing. I'm not making no excuses. But she, I don't know if it was her skin diseases or if she had a skin disease. I don't know. When she was falling out, she'd uh, hit her head. Before, like when we was running, that's what I was saying. Um, the bite marks, the doctor said he didn't even know what that was, but he was going to get to the bottom of it. And that's why I was looking at Michelle. We was crying because I never seen it. You feel me? Right. I never seen it. Um, so let, asked, me, let me ask you this. When last night before this all happened, did she have marks on her eyes? Right here? Yeah. And uh, no, I don't know if it was from... I didn't see. I didn't see it. 
Did she uh, have bruises on her arms and legs? She had the bru she, she had the she had uh, not the skin marks. I'm talking like the bruises on her on her. You saying on her on her face and there was on her face, on her arms, on her legs. The bruises. That's what she had. That's on her, her ribs. That's I didn't on see her it. stomach. I didn't. On her butt. I, I didn't see the um. I seen them on the butt. I seen a little uh, the gash right. Uh, I don't know if it's a gash. If that's what you call it. I seen that, and I seen this one over on this side. I seen those. What are those from? I don't know. I don't know what those scrapes. Have you um, have you ever seen Michelle lose control? No. I have never, you ever lost control with? I have lost control yelling with, loud. Okay. I never. I never. I never ever ever. I don't have no history of violence. I don't have no history of hurting kids. I don't believe in that. I want to understand that, and I have a, a great sense of mind. I, I mean, I, I, obviously, you know that when you come in here, we run your background, and all that. Yes. I don't see anything that jumps off at me with you. Nothing at all. And that—that's what—that's what concerns me. Because right now, we're trying to figure out who the suspect is and who the witnesses are. Harris may think he can breathe a sigh of relief over the fact that he has never been in trouble with the police. But lacking a criminal record doesn't mean someone is innocent. Sometimes it just means they haven't been caught. And if we can't figure that out, then everybody's a suspect. Yeah. And we've oh. got to figure that out. And what I'm, what I'm trying to caution you with is which one do you want to be and where do you want to be in this, in this process? I don't because know. I know that I know by, by talking to you that this is concerning you, this bothers you, yes, it does. and you're trying to decide the right thing to do of, of, of how, how to work how, this out. And, as, a, and as, a a family, as, a, as a family man, I don't want to see myself in jail or prison. I don't want to see Michelle in jail or prison. I don't want to, I didn't even want to enter situations that she's in. I don't right. want to see mom or losing her stepdad because their dad's not shit. I don't want to see her sister and then I have my own family. I'm in school, I'm finna get ready to graduate for right. a month, you know what I mean? So it's like... And you're gonna make good money, work, doing welding and all that stuff. There's good money in that. So you need to think about yourself, think about your son. Yes, sir. And think about what the right thing to do is, okay? And make the right decision that if you know something, you need to share it with me. I because don't. when the investigation's done, it's gonna be very clear of what happened, when it happened, and where it happened. That's the good thing about these medical things. Yes, sir. That there's no question. You know, we've got doctors upon doctors upon doctors over there doing examination, x-rays, and figuring stuff out. Yes, sir. Okay? We work directly with the state attorney. She comes in and she talks to us in these cases to figure out which way am I going to go and what's going to happen. Yes, sir. That way she can get a clear understanding of what happened and what went on. And yes, I can sir. guarantee you that people that cooperate and tell us the truth, she can look at that and understand it better. Yes, sir. Than people that don't yes, sir. tell us the truth. And they look at it, well, the medical evidence shows this. This is exactly what happened. How the hell did he not know that? Yes, sir. And she's going to think that you're lying and you're a bad guy. You're not a bad guy, are you? No, sir. No, and I don't no, think you are no, either. By talking to you, I don't think you are. But if you know something, you need to think about yourself. Okay? I, I, I'm thinking about myself. I'm thinking about everything that's going on. I don't know nothing. I have lost control. I have screamed. She has lost control. She has screamed. But we never, ever took it to... The point where we will want to like harm them or kill them or neither one um, of you have no have been excessive I, with discipline with either one of those kids no could my kids be around her kids be around and then it, it, it doesn't it wouldn't make sense for that for me because like i got a question like that before and i'm like the same level they both around us I have a problem I have a problem we whoop them the same way so i don't i don't well, I it don't, sounds like one complies when you threaten with, hey, I'm going to take TV away or this, that, and the other one sounds like you have to go a little bit further. It's a little she, bit more stubborn. She, you know, she, 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 she's hard-headed. I wouldn't necessarily say hard-headed. It's just she wants, she, she told her mom that she wanted to be with her dad. That's the only reason. Uh, maybe that is stubborn because she was rebelling, but she never, she never got punished. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So she was just really about to go to her dad. That's what was even crazier. That's what's the last time she's seen her dad? Um, June or July, summertime, because that's when her and her nana had him. Okay, so it was 
what three or four months since since she spent time with her it's dad. October. I guess. Yes. Okay. June or July. The Nana had him over the whole summer. I just had moved in work, so it wasn't like I said. I don't I don't know if the bite mark came from over there. I know she. I know from the doctor saying that. The bruising that you're saying about, like the ribs and things mm -hmm. like that, we don't know where that come from. Okay. You know what I mean? Do you um, see? Do you this, I know. See, I'm sorry. No, no, no I, I, I interrupted you. I apologize. Keep going. These, I seen for sure, you know what I mean, hit the concrete. For sure, for sure, I seen that. The These right here, no, because that would sound like. I, I never seen that. I don't know, like, I don't know if that came from hitting the concrete or not. I don't know. i never seen it from her, like, sleeping and stuff. She sleeps, so I, I can't imagine um, bags or anything like that or some, some, something strong. And then the doctor said she had, like, uh, blood behind her eyes or something like that. So I don't know if, it, if it's from that. Uh, Did... When you wake her up, in the, and, and you may not, but when somebody wakes her up in the middle of the night, because you all wake her up to go to the bathroom so she doesn't, um, when you wake her up, is she, does she is she groggy? I mean, does she fall down or does she walk fine? Does she sleepwalk or anything? No, she doesn't sleepwalk. She walks fine. She sways. She does She does this with her shoulders. Okay. But and she's not falling down in the ground or hitting the walls or, you when know, she, like, or it, any of that? Temper tantrums, like nothing more like, that's why I'm saying, like, I don't know. I I seen her do things like <clears throat> this before. You know what I'm saying? Like her arms go back. These was way before all this happened. I have seen all like these little effects, and then I be like, I yell at her. She, yes sir, but she's talking. And when her mom does it, but her mom says she been done doing that for like her whole. She gets real rigid almost. Kind yes sir. Of, okay. When Harris gives a visual demonstration to explain how Zakaria moves, his actions mimic the way a child moves when they're being jerked around in anger. This doesn't explain why these movements have enough force behind them to cause injury. But she's not falling into walls. It's not a situation where she's falling into walls or tripping over stuff, knocking um, over the TV, no, the face on no, coffee tables, anything like no, that. No, no, well, I have seen, um, I've seen that with the chair. Um, what does that mean? What do you mean you saw that with the chair? The, the, uh, we have, you ever seen them little basket things that people make basketball goals out of? Yeah. Okay, yeah. those, she had that. We have a table in our uh, dining room. Now, I have seen that where she possibly could have uh, hit that or something because we don't heard that before, but this was, I can't put a time on it, I really don't know, but I seen the space and this was when Michelle was home, but we was always looking like Oh, because Michelle said something about she had a situation before with uh, DCF or something like that. Okay. Um, and it made her kind of nervous. So she was trying to do home, you know, remedies and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't nothing based off of her, I don't think. I don't so she, what, what type of DCF issues? What do you, uh, like somebody said that she was hurting a child where Michelle was? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Uh, based off of. This is when they stayed. This is way before I met her. Okay. Uh, this was when she was like, I guess she said three or four. This is when her and her baby dad stayed together. Okay. And they had a DCF issue that dad dad was hurting the the girls. Yes, that was well, her dad used to be whooping whooping the ass. But okay. she didn't say ass, but she was like, her dad always get a whooping. That's why I love you, Jonte, because you may yell, but you. You're good. You good to my mom. Stuff like that. Say anything. She doesn't say nothing. Doesn't say and uh, Michelle's been in a situation where she has been beaten on by. So I don't want to say, like I said, it's not it's not him, but I don't know, and it's not it's not us. And he hasn't been around for four months or so. So anything recent wouldn't be wouldn't uh, be him, right? No, he hasn't been around in four months. He hasn't been around since July. He hasn't been calling. Um, the things. So that, any of the injuries couldn't be because of him. I don't. Right? I, don't I wouldn't know because I never seen. <clears throat> I never heard anything like when she's around. She doesn't. She doesn't move like anything's 
messed up or broken. She only moves the same way she was moving when I first met him, swaying. Okay. Um, something that Michelle shared with us is that she she had been touching herself. Yes. Did, were you aware of that? I mean, yes, sir. Um, does she do it in front of you as well, or is it just she has done it in front of me? Okay. That's, that's, you know I, why why she's doing that? From from to be honest. She uh she says something about it was touching, touching her. That's the dead. Yeah. Between us, I I never shared that information with nobody else. That once she told me that. Um, but yes, I used to see was in the bed. She'll be doing this, doing like rubbing on herself, and then when she first came back from her house, she was doing like this, touching on herself. And I'm like, what are you doing? She doesn't say anything. She just said, I want my dad. I want my dad. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did she say what dad did to her? Michelle or the baby? The baby. I she never, said dad touched her though? No. I, I always asked her. She never said anything. Okay, I'm interested, yeah. Um, Michelle, she ended up confronting me. She said she don't know if uh, the dad was touching on her or stuff like that. So I was just going more and more and more and more. But I was like, it makes more sense because... Did, did you say you never told anyone outside of you and Michelle, you mean? Yes, sir. Okay. So it wasn't reported is what you mean, not that you didn't share it with Michelle. Yes, sir. Um. Zakiria's actions are those of a child who has been sexually abused. Harris naturally blames everything on the father. By itself, this information isn't enough to indicate that Harris is guilty. But when it is added to the other evidence, it is easy to see why the police are focusing on him. I just want to ask you a couple of questions just to make sure you know where we're at with this. Okay, excuse me. Um, what did the doctor tell you today at the hospital, you and Michelle, when y'all were in that room? The doctor said uh, she has a bite mark. Uh, she went in cardiac arrest. Um, she had blood behind her eyes. Uh, and that was it. He didn't never say nothing about the ribs or the bruising. That's why I'm just hearing that from... Did he say anything about what's going to happen point forward, what he expects? He said uh, probably she's looking, f She's her heart was beating, um, they had on a breathing machine. She's looking forward, but he don't know if she's going to make it. That's how he's... Um, okay. So it's pretty serious injuries. Yes, sir. Is what we're talking about here. Yes, sir. We're not talking about spankings or falls. No. Um, was a difficult child for Michelle to control or understand? Kind of. Tell me what you mean by that. Um, the stubbornness from what he's mm -hmm. put out there to me. Um, not listening as far as like, go get in the corner, like the swaying, just little stuff like that for us. Uh, just one of her dad, normal things. That's about it. Nothing. Does, nothing. Oh, and the running, not not exercising. Does is Michelle? Is that her first child? That's her second. That's her second child. How many children does she have total? She has two. Okay, two. So is, okay, um, and she's obviously the one she has a little more difficulty with. So she's different than the first child. Yes. Do you think deals with her appropriately? Discipline wise. You said do you think she does does Michelle does she know how to parent? Does she do a good job? Yes, to me. To me. Okay. As a mother, yes, yeah, she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't do like I said, she doesn't do anything to the screen. It's not like cause my kids be around, so that's judgment already. Mm -hmm. Um no, she doesn't do anything out of the norm. Because here, here's what we're running into. Okay. This is, and this, I'm going to try to kind of show you what we're looking at from our perspective so you can understand why we're asking what we're asking. We've got two children, two adults, take care of those two children. Yes, sir. Um, one kid responds normally to this plan. Doesn't sound like much of a problem at all. I saw her today. She seemed like a happy go lucky little kid. The other kid, for whatever reason, we don't know why has some problems uh, responding to discipline or responding to what she's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, because parents are there to tell them what to do. She has a problem 
socializing. doing yes. what she's supposed to do. Part of it's probably part, you know, problem socializing. But either way, it's, it's, she's not an easy kid to discipline, it doesn't sound like. So a lot of times what happens is, if a little bit of discipline is not working, you do more discipline. Just like some people think, if you're giving somebody a little bit of medicine, well, I'll give them more medicine to make them better. It doesn't always work that way. More discipline is not always the answer. Um, but parents don't know that always. If she's a young mom, she's an experienced mom, and she's dealing with an unusually difficult child. What we need to understand is how, what happened, because there's only four people in there that we know of, and we're going to talk to everybody that we can. What happened normal, and it's not right, yeah. she has enough injuries where she may not make it, is what she just told me. Right? That's why we're sitting here. This isn't the time to worry about anybody else. This isn't the time to worry about you and Michelle, what's going to happen to her, what's going to happen to you. We just need to know the truth. Yeah. Because right now, I don't know. What you and Michelle are telling me so far is not adding up to what I've seen preliminarily. Like, what I've already seen injuries-wise, just a few minutes I spent at the hospital, doesn't make sense. So usually when things don't make sense in my world, somebody's not telling me the truth. Now... Do I think you're lying to protect yourself? I don't think so. I don't think you did anything. Do I think you may not be disclosing something that Michelle's doing that's not, that's not a good thing? Maybe. The detectives have given Harrison out by suggesting that Cannamore is the one responsible for her daughter's injuries. Most likely, this same tactic will be used on Cannamore. If they are successful, either Cannamore or Harris will reveal enough information to help them piece together what actually happened. And if you are doing something like that, not. I didn't ask you. Oh, sorry. If you're not doing, if you are doing something like that, now's the time to just come off of whatever it is. Because something's happened in the house. And as soon as I get these reports back from the doctors, I'm going to know. There's only two people I have to talk to because both you and Michelle said you were the only two there. Yes, sir. Now, did you do anything to cause these injuries? No, sir. Very serious injuries. I know they're serious. Be life or death. Yes, I know that. That's what you I'm. You understand? There's only two people in that apartment that could have caused these injuries. Well, from tonight, that's what you're saying. Yes, sir. What yes, happened sir. tonight? Yes, sir. Potentially caused her death. Now, if you're looking at it from my perspective, something happened in that apartment. The evidence is going to show us something happened there that caused her to, to be injured enough where she may pass. Only two people were there. What do you think happened? I know. And I don't know is not a real great answer right now. No, you're sitting. Uh, I, I, I haven't, like I said to you and him, I never, I never did anything. I never, she never, I never seen her do anything. We only spanked, and even when these things come back, I have no room to lie. It really hurt. It's really hurting. I can see it. You feel me? And I have never, ever seen like anything in this situation. Never been in this situation before in my life. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you you said some real like the discipline things. I don't know. Like I have yelled. I have spanked. I never, never hit. We never, we never hit. We never be on, we never hit. We never, um, <clears throat> it's only yelling, spanking with a belt, spanking with the hands. That's it. What do you think happened? I'm, I'm thinking that her injuries came from when she was running and we delayed on coming to you guys earlier before. I'm thinking, um, from her probably exercising at an accelerated race and she's falling, it's probably causing all that. That's the only way my my mind is pitching to that. Uh, as far as the bruising, it's, it's going right back to that. I don't know where the, uh, what do you say she had? Uh, ribs or abdominal? Ribs, uh, ribs. I don't know if they're broken or, or, or not. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen like I said, me hit her. I never seen her hit her. I don't hit. 
So you said, and you've said that a few times, I'm kind of keen on something you're saying. You said you've never seen her hit her. No. Have you ever suspected that she hit her? No. I, well, I, I'm not paying attention. Well, there's a, key, there's a way I phrased it the way I did, because I just asked you if you suspected that she did. No, I, I well, no. I don't want to even second guess myself. No, I'm not, I never suspected. I you never, never were sitting there thinking, man, she, she might went overboard whatever she did to her this time. This isn't something, we've been doing this a long time, I've dealt with a lot of child abuse cases, tons. Yes, sir. This isn't something that happened last night. The worst thing happened last night because it got her in the condition she's in now. But there's a pattern that happens before it gets to this point. Just like with a domestic abuse between a husband and wife, yes, sir. or boyfriend and girlfriend. He doesn't all of a sudden just one day stab her. It leads up there, there's a long history of one a little bit worse than the last time, a little bit worse than the last time, and it doesn't seem bad until you're sitting here in this chair and it all of a sudden got to this point yes, sir. to where it's the worst it could be. So what we're asking about are the little things that might have led up to this. We need to get a good picture of that before those reports come in from you so that we can show that you're cooperative and you're giving us everything that you have. Yes, I am. So tell me about what led up to today. Um. In the last couple of weeks, very defiant. She hasn't been listening to me or her mom. She told her mom she didn't love her. She told me she didn't love me when she did socialize. She said she wanted to go back to her dad. She missed her dad. She wanted to go to her nana. I put her in the corner. I told her, you can't be like that. You, Your mom loves you. Your mom's not doing anything to you. Michelle, she works at night. I'm the only one that's at the house. And when he said, think about me, that's the only thing I'm thinking about because that shit's scaring the shit out of me. I don't want to be in a situation where, you know what I mean? Okay. Where I'm more, it's not that I'm protecting her, it's really on me because if you working at night and then I'm the only one left with the baby, then the thing's going to point at me. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want that on me. I have a, that is makes my conscience okay. bad. So tell me what you know. I'm telling you what I know. That's what I know. And like okay. I didn't suspect no injuries because she was fine. She was she, like she was swaying. That's all I ever seen her do. And before any of this stuff happened, she she already was doing. I don't know what you would call this in a child. I don't know the actual doctor term. But for you to be like this and all this and you sh and you shake. That's what you you've been doing. You know what I mean? And this was with both of us. I don't know if it's from the yelling. It wasn't from me hitting her. It wasn't from her hitting her. I never I never seen her do like this like that. And her, she was always like this, but she was responding. She was responding. Tonight, I, I like I said, I don't know what the hell was going on. Harris is feeling trapped. While his earlier claims portray Cannamore as a good mother, he's starting to walk that back and imply that things might have been happening when he wasn't around. In a way, this would explain his earlier lies if he'd been trying to protect her. Since he wasn't forthcoming until things were looking bad for him, he just looks like a rat fleeing a sinking ship. I'm just thinking is the water and her heart's slowing down, and this is the information that I was seeing. Um, just one thing I'm going to flip back on, she, that stood out to me, is she went to the bathroom before, defecated on the floor, it sounded like what you said, when she pooped on the floor? Yes, sir. So, how did that happen? Was that an accident? Did she intentionally like, take her pants down and go to the bathroom floor because she's mad? Tell me a little bit about that. No, I uh, put her in a corner. And when I usually put her on the corner, this is how she shows her disobedience and rebellion. She never, she pissed before on the floor, like I said, go to your room. She'd go to her room, she'd be in, she'd be in the corner, then she'd get out the corner. I was like, okay, sit down. She's sitting down. She knows how to get up and use the bathroom. So she, I get in there, piss on the floor. Go to the bathroom. She get up, yes sir, no ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's what her words were. When she used to say no, that's when I knew it was a problem. Okay, now you're not listening. Then the bowel movement thing, 
was when she was in the, she had her panties on. She, when she doodled, she doodled all the way down. I say it was on the floor because it was coming down her. But she had a whole, you know what I'm saying, a whole draw swoop. Mm -hmm. And when was that? That was this weekend. And how did you discipline her for that? I spanked her and put her in the corner. And, okay, so I misunderstood. Why did, was she just walking around when that happened? Or was she sitting on the couch? No, she was standing, she was already standing. She like was she, already in the corner. She was already in the corner. So she was already in trouble for something. Yes. What was she in trouble for? Disobeying, just not rebelling. Uh, I mean, rebelling, not not listening, being stubborn. Her mom asking her to do things like little things, like come on, just eat. And I'm like, come on, eat. She's not listening. Neither one of us goes back to that. Okay. I think I had a couple of the brain. You said something about brain damage. Did you say that she had brain damage, or you thought she did, or what was that? The doctor said that the baby had a lot of brain injuries, and I'm using I'm. I just said damage to replace injury, but it's just the same thing he said. What she had doctor, what was that doctor's name, or where were you at? Wilson's Hospital. That was just now. That, that was just was today. Uh, today. That was today. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that was the clarifications I had. I mean, like I said, we've, we've, we're here, we're giving you opportunities to kind of come forward with stuff. Um, we're going to be here for a little bit longer. If you think of something you need to tell us, you got to let us know. If there's anything you're holding back that's going to come out later, it's going to bite you. Don't think it's not. Trust me. I, I, I don't, I've never been in a situation like this, never been incarcerated, never been down the line, so it's more I know. making that's me... That's a pretty good accomplishment, don't you think? Yes. Staying out of yes, trouble? Yes. So it's you probably given up a lot in order to keep yourself out of trouble throughout the years. I, you've probably given up friends. You've probably given up relationships. Just to keep yourself out of jail and not live that life. life you're not about I, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to be about that. Like, I don't been, all I do is do my music and I do school. So we want to keep you out of that too. We don't want you to get caught up in something to where you're going to get in trouble. Because when it comes to kids. It's serious. That's and everybody takes it serious. We mm -hmm. take it serious. The state takes it serious. The judges take it serious. And guess what? The juries take it serious. Think about... You I were am. sitting on a jury. I am. And you were looking at what we're looking at. I am. Okay. I, I am looking at all the situations. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say, man. The detectives use emotional manipulation when they ask him to imagine how a jury will react to the evidence they have, hoping this will force Harris into making a confession. Harris is well aware of the danger, but he isn't ready to abandon the slim chance that he might get away with this. If you were on the jury and you knew that there were only two adults in that house and knew what was going on, would you believe, being a juror, would you believe that one didn't know what the other was doing? I mean, you both live there. You're the only ones yeah, there. Not if they were in a relationship. Yeah, they're in a relationship. They're, li they're, they're living together. Even though they may not be paying attention, maybe watching the TV, maybe trying to zone out on what's happening, what's going on, you still know what's going on underneath your roof. You still know you what's should. happening in your house. You should, yeah. yeah. You should pay attention to it. And saying I wasn't listening, saying I wasn't paying attention, all that is not an excuse that a jury's going to listen to, especially when you deal with a five-year-old child that will probably die. I mean, you understand that, right? Yes, I do. I mean, you know what kind of detectives we are? No. We're homicide. Homicide detectives. Yeah. That's why. I, I, That's we we and when we do when we do cases, you got two of us here, you got the state's attorney here, you got two sergeants watching, you got a lieutenant paying attention, you got Department of Children's Family Service involved, you got three ETs, and a detective talking to a judge, right now, and you've got two at the scene. We don't play games. I'm not. We want to get to the bottom of it. Yes, sir. And you know, we, not, we've not. got doctors, like I told you before, that examine the baby right now to figure out what happened. Yes, sir. And I don't like these cases. This is the worst case that I could ever work as a child. You understand that, right? Yes, I do. Yes, and I do. if I find out who did this, I, I want to put them under the jail, okay? And I find out you knew about it and you didn't share it with me, 
I want to put you under the jail. Okay? And you should want to put yourself under the jail because you said if it was your child, you would want revenge. revenge. Think about that. If you know what's happening, what's going on, and you don't share it with me, and we go all this full route, and we find out that you knew the entire time, or it was you, there's going to be problems. Hey, man, mistakes happen. I've made mistakes with my kids. And my kids would tell you I've made mistakes. My wife would tell you I've made mistakes with my kids. I, I, I never, I never, I, I made a mistake of whooping her, but I never hit right. her. And that, and that, I never hit her. And that, that may be what's happening, but I'm telling you, if you know what happened, you need to man up and tell us, okay? I'm, I'm not, I know we've gone through that 18 times. Yes, I don't sir. plan on going through all that again. Yes, sir. But, I, but I, it, we're going to step outside. If there's anything you want to share with us, now's the time. I am, okay? sir. I am. Okay. I, I, I didn't suspect anything from Michelle. I didn't. I, I never I never hit her. All I did was spank her. All I did was spank her. Now, the whooping, I, I, I have hit her on the back with my hands, but I never punched this baby. Kick her? No. Push her down? No, sir. Hit her with a stick? No, sir. Nothing besides spank her on the behind. Just, just, just holler at her. And holler at her. We never. And you never, you never saw Michelle hit her with a stick. No, sir. No, hit sir. Hit her with the broom. Push her down. No, sir. Kick her against no, the wall. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. No, how, sir. How old are your kids? My kids are uh, eight and seven. Boy and a girl. Which one's eight? The girl. The girl. Good. Alright, give us a little while, okay? Yes, you sir. need anything? Need water or anything? No, sir. Sometimes the most effective form of interrogation is to ask no questions at all. Making a suspect nervous and then leaving them alone gives them the time to imagine all of the potential negative scenarios. Sometimes this breaks this completely, and at others, it throws them off balance enough to let things slip. You good? Okay. Dante. You know, right, buddy? You've been in here a long time. Um, hey, listen, a couple things we need to do. First, uh, it's been a while since we've been in here, so I want to make sure that uh, your constitutional rights, you remember us going over those? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions about any of those? You want to read through them again? Or? I've uh, seen it. You've seen it? Okay. Do you have any questions about any of those? Um, I don't uh, know. Okay. It's the same thing that you signed before. I just want to make sure that because it's been it's been a little while since we've been in here, um, that you still understand that you're you're held to these, you know, these rights. You have the, you know the right to remain silent. Anything you say could be used against you in court. Uh, you have the right to talk to an attorney before we ask you any questions, or to uh, have an attorney pre present um, before questioning. Um, if you don't afford an attorney, will be appointed to you before any questioning begins. And if you decide to answer questions now, you can stop at any time and consult an attorney. You understand those? Okay. I had just had asked the dude. I didn't know what was going on. But I was like, uh, could I have contact my mom? Because I, I didn't know. We've just been investigating. We've been investigating, talking to people all day. Oh. That's I all. Didn't, I, didn't, I don't even know yeah. what time. I didn't know it's what it's uh, 7.40 right now. Jeez. Okay. So I know it's been a long time. But like I said, we had a lot of work to do. We did a lot of work today. We talked to a lot of people. So that's what we're here to kind of go over again. To explain to you. And then one, one of the things we got to do is we, we want to get uh, get your consent for a cheek swab to for the blood that's in the house and things like that that we can you know validate whose blood's what blood and all that. Okay. okay. And do you have any issues with that? You want to read through that real quick? No, I don't have any issues. I don't okay. have any blood in the house. Okay. If you want to, just sign it at the top for me. Or I'm sorry, I'll print your name at the top where it says I. And then um, <clears throat> go ahead and read through that. Make sure you read it in date and time. I want to read everything before you sign. I want you to think I'm pulling pulling anything over on your what have you. What's today's date? Today's the 18th. 18th. Um. 18. Correct. 2018. Right, so you just need to sign as the consenting party right there. Right. 
you have any questions about that at all? Uh, I don't understand. I, um, I guess no cheek swab. Okay. And the blood or whatever. Okay. Basically, what, what this says, you hear that you've been advised that law enforcement, which is me, wish to take cheek, cheek swab from you and hereby authorize, I'm going to put Jacksonville Sheriff's Office there, which I'm, I'm a member of. Any other officers designated to assist him to take such samples as needed. So actually, I'll write my name there. Um, you've been advised that taking such samples being conducted in connection with a criminal investigation. We're doing an investigation into, into injuries, okay? Um, <clears throat> you have not been promised, to, I haven't promised you anything to get you to uh, provide me a sample, and I have not threatened you in any way to give me a sample. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you've given, given the consent voluntary and knowledge that the evidence obtained uh, may be used against you in criminal investigations, criminal proceedings, uh, that I may stand accused. And you've been advised that you have the right to refuse this consent. You can say no, okay? And what this consent is, it, it, it's a consent for, for DNA, which is consistent with blood, saliva, things like that. Okay? Does that make more sense? Does that help? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. I want you to take that out of that package right there, and you're just going to rub it in your cheek right there. And then stick it in that. The DNA evidence will be helpful in determining if there were any defensive wounds or if Zakiria had been sexually abused recently. Thing for me. I'm going to have you do the same thing with this one right here. And rub it on that other cheek too. Just get both those cheeks real good. Put this a little hard. Is everything okay? We're trying to figure that out. Um, while we've been while we've been out of the room, uh, you know, we've been we've been talking to a lot of people, doing a lot of investigating. Okay, let me get this sealed up real quick, and then I'll uh, I'll explain to you a little bit what we've done. Um, <clears throat> we were able. I told you that we were that we were going to talk to Murray have her explain a little bit for us of what happened and what went on. She's able to provide us information. We're able to uh, talk to the doctor too, that does the forensic or criminal investigation into injuries okay. um, and all that to give us a better understanding of the injuries that occurred and injuries that happened there. Okay. Um, and to be honest with you, the the story that y'all were giving us, it it stood for a little while, but just based on investigation and talking to people. It doesn't make sense, okay? And so we're trying to get to the to the bottom of it. We're trying to get to the truth, because when we go, I mean, we've been at seven o'clock at night now. That's right. Mean, and you guys and you guys got here at what, like three, four, three? That's when it first started. Everything started. You got in here with me, probably about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, somewhere around there is when we started. It's almost twelve hours yeah. that we that we've been going and investigating. And like I told you, with the, the team we have, we got a team of people. You know that two sergeants, state attorney. I went and saw a judge today. Um, one of my partners went and saw a judge today. So it's not just me and Detective Devereaux. It's a whole team of us doing stuff. Um, <clears throat> we've had people interviewing kids that specialize. That's their job responsibility. That's all they do is interview kids to get a better understanding and to to uh, to work with them. So we, we've done a lot. No, she a pretty good kid. You said that she, you know, she pretty. You yeah. threatened her with, hey, I'm gonna take your TV away, and she yeah, did whatever just, you say. Just stuff like that. So, what about in school? Is she a good student? Uh, yeah. Usually she, well, she's just been getting A's recently. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's good. Are the teachers pretty, uh, yeah. um, pretty responsive? I mean, does she listen to what they say and mm -hmm. does what she's supposed to do? And with y'all, she does what she's supposed to do for the most part. You only have to tell her once, and she gets it done, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what about? Um, what about, does, does she ever tell stories? You know, little kids tend to tell stories or or what have you. She's usually a pretty truthful kid, you know, comparatively to others? Uh, usually. She doesn't, I mean, she doesn't be around a lot. Usually she does the same thing as zoning out. As far as, like, when I'm watching TV and I'm like, what you doing? She was like, nothing, stuff like that. Nothing more than, well, like... She's not, she's not telling, telling big lies or saying that she's getting... You know, in trouble at school, getting F's, beating no, up she, other kids. No, whatever. she doesn't get into fights. 
she but she's not saying she's not saying any of that. She's not she's not telling any story. She tells you something you believe her. Most most of the time, she doesn't really too much talk about much. But when she does, yeah. Okay. So when she does tell you something, you have no reason not to believe her. No. Okay. I, I do my investigation as well. Okay. <clears throat> so that being said, we talked to her, and she gave us a totally different story than than what you and uh, Michelle were giving us. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what we want to figure out. Basically, our investigation is done. We, we've done everything that we need to do. Well, there's still steps we need to do, but we've, to a certain extent, we know what happened. Uh, we know where it happened. We know when it happened, which is different at the time that you're telling us that everything happened. Um, to a certain extent, how it happened, we just don't know the why. And we haven't put it together to why, why these things all came together. Why got injured to the point where she was, you know, today. And we think we figured it out, you know. We, we, we think we know why it happened, you know, back in the, in, in the head, but really the only person that can answer that is, is you and Michelle, okay? So I know I have kids, yes, and I have some defiant kids, and some that don't listen to me, and I get very frustrated with them. I get very upset with them, and sometimes you know, we get in those situations, we lose control. And we do things that we don't want to do, we don't mean to do, and, you know, we can't control ourselves. And honestly, I think that's what happened, man. I, th I think that it got to a point where she wasn't respecting you, she'd be disrespectful, she's defiant, she's, she's telling you she likes her daddy more than you, she doesn't love you, she doesn't love Michelle, all that, and you snapped. Me? Yeah, I think you snapped. Actually, let me rephrase it. I know you snapped. I know you snapped. Okay? And what I need to know is, were you intentionally doing it to end her life? The detectives are done allowing Harris to pretend he is innocent. They know he hurt Zakiria, and now Harris is left with two options. Either he murdered her deliberately, or he used more force than he realized. Either way, Harris's future is going to hold some jail time, and worse, if the other inmates get their hands on him. Were well, you no, trying never, to kill her? I never, I never, I never hit her. Okay, hold I on, never. hold on, hold on. One, you need to stop lying, because you ain't going to get many chances. This ain't yeah, baseball, you say, all right? Yeah, there yeah. ain't three strikes, all right? Because what I've seen today, what I've dealt with today, yes, sir. I don't ever want to deal with. Yes, sir. Okay? They don't They don't call in random Joe Smo to work these cases. Yes, sir. You don't see a guy in a patrol uniform that just got on the street working these cases. They call them a the homicide team. Yes, yes, sir. You yes. think there's a higher detective division within the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office besides homicide? No, I never. There's not. I never. You got dudes that chase dope. You got people that deal with people robbing people. You got burglaries. Yes, I deal with people killing people. There ain't nothing worse than that. Okay? Yes, so don't play games. I'm not playing games. Okay. Well, I don't believe that you don't hit her. For example, I know that you hit her. Okay. All right? I know there's no chance. What I need to know is why you hit her. Did you lose control? I didn't lose control. When I spanked her, I, I spanked her. Like I told you before, I hit on her back. I never hit her. Okay. And I never hit okay. her up here. Stop there. This isn't a spank. This is hitting somebody in the face. No. Hitting a five-year-old little girl in the face. Don't lie to me. Not, sir. If you lost control, if you fell apart, we can work with that. We can work on that. But if you sit here and lie to me, what do you think is going to happen when I go to a judge with the evidence that I've compiled? You listen say, to me, listen to me. When I've gone to the evidence that I've compiled from doctors that say what happened, yes, from interviews that I've done not only with Michelle, with her daughter, yes, who you just said wasn't a liar. Yes, sir. Who other people that are involved in your life, yes, sir. other baby mamas, all that, putting that together to find out what type of person that I'm talking to. Yes, sir. And I've got all that, and I take it before a judge and jury. A judge and jury, this is what I got. Oh, what did he say? He said he don't know nothing about it. How does that look, man? It looks like I'm a, a, a liar. It looks like I'm a. Looks like you cold blooded. It. Looks like you the cold blooded. Cold, yeah, looks like you meant to do what happened. No, sir. I'm not. I'm not. <clears> then you need to be honest. So we're going to take that story you said before, wipe it clean, forget you told us anything, and start over. I'm not a cold blooded person. I, I no, take a second and take in what I just said. I don't think you understood what I just said. That story you told us earlier about doesn't what? exist. About doesn't exist. The story you told me earlier. 
gone. Doesn't exist anymore. Tell us what really happened. When we were, I don't, I don't, I don't. What would your mom tell me if I talked to her? My mom would tell you, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a bad person. I, I, I'm not a, I'm a good, I'm a good kid. I've never been incarcerated. This would shock the shit out of her. Uh, she never seen me do this with my own children. Would she tell you that uh, you have an anger issue? N not, not necessarily. Not an anger issue as far as uh, losing control all okay. the time. What about what about being able to control your emotions? No. You think she she would say that? So oh she, no 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 she would. That's what I'm saying. She, she would say that yes. you have a hard time controlling your emotions. My emotions as far as how I feel about certain things. Okay. Um, but it was never out of intentions of anger to harm or to hurt. It was always to speak my mind. Okay. Speak my mind, not to provoke anyone, because I'm not a fighter. Okay. You ever hit your mom? No, sir. You ever hit your sister? No. Well, yes, I have not. Recently? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. No, sir. How old is your sister? She's 21. And how old are you? I'm 26. Okay. When you were kids? Yes, sir. You guys, teenagers, but, like, but nothing in the last year, twenty six. Nothing in the last six years since you've been twenty. You never put your hand. Never, on. as far as uh, we got into it one time in our old apartments in Avalon Hill. How long ago was that? This was um, last year. Okay. I want to say, uh, yeah, she um, my sister hit me first, and she tried to hit my mom, so I end up holding her like this. And I was like, move, and then she ended up hitting me, so I blocked it and pushed her. Okay. Never hit her. <clears throat> just pushed her. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, back to uh, back to your, you take care of them. Is there anybody else that comes to the house and takes care of them with y'all besides you and Michelle? Um, no, not, not her. Her dad hasn't called in forever. The last time he said something. He was like, fuck Michelle and all this. Her nana never came over. Uh, her sisters never came over. The last actual family member that came through was Tiffany's husband. Harris downplays his history of anger issues and physical violence, but it still shows that behavior existed. His altercation with his sister suggests that other people he may have fought with didn't report him to keep themselves out of trouble. Okay. And wh when was that? That's when he was dropping off her, uh, his son, um, the end of September. End of say. September. Okay. So a couple weeks ago. Yes, sir. Okay. And did he stay? Did he keep the? Did he keep the girls, or he just came in, dropped his son off, and went about? He came. And he came and picked his son up. Okay. He came and picked his son up earlier. That I don't know who. But he wasn't him. alone. He wasn't alone with with the girls or anything like that. No, sir. Okay. Is there ever a time that you and Michelle go out and hire a babysitter for the girls to watch the girls? Um, no, sir. They always be with us. Like I said, Michelle uh, was taking her okay. before, and she took her out of that. You took her out of that because she wasn't social. Yes, sir. Is that the reason? Okay. That's what she told me. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Previous series. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, when the doctors go through and they look at her, she has 50 separate injuries to her body. Which doesn't, it, which means that it's not a one-time thing, it's not a two-time thing. It's that she requires more discipline than other kids. But we're taking the discipline to an extent. To an extent. Okay. And that's what we need to understand and grasp, okay? Because everybody we talk to said that this isn't a one-time thing. That this one, you, you really lost control, and you got enraged, and maybe used a little bit too much discipline, but the other times, like... So you've had to take care of her. I had to, I had to switch from schools. Uh, I was doing a night school. I was going through... Uh, losing my best friend. I don't know if y'all heard about it. The the, uh, the killing on the beach with Leon Bennett. Mm -hmm. Um, that during August it wasn't it wasn't no problems with her. Nothing that because she just had came back from her dad. September was the worst month for us because we just got her sister out of the house. Uh, she left with her son. Um, 
and that's when problems start more, 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 more happening with her and with me trying to discipline. Because I used to tell Shell, no, no, I don't want to discipline because, like I said, I never wanted a man disciplining my son. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell her, don't allow me to discipline, not because of my anger mm -hmm. or my emotional detachment or whatever, however you can use it, I don't know. Yeah, how about you? Um, it was nothing like that. It was based off of the fact of respect. Michelle used to whoop her. It was a time, you know, I done seen Shell hit her with her fist. Uh, I, I never, I used to tell her, you know, you know what I'm saying, stop, but it was like around the same times, September. This is when all the, the real, real rebellion came, and it was way before hitting. And she had her own rebellion. We go to the corner, go to the corner, she get in the corner, don't do what we say, do your homework, don't do her homework, eat your food. Do eat her food, piss on the ground. Just defiant. I mean, just sounds like she's just defiant. She got something going on that makes her rebel against y'all. And <clears throat> it sounds like Michelle was trying, Hard. and it just wasn't working. You know, it and that's why I used to thing. tell her, just hurry up and send her to her dad. Send her to her dad because that's who she wants. She wants to be with her dad. Send her to her dad. She was like, I don't want to lose my baby. And I said, it doesn't make you feel like you're less of a mother. It's not going to make you feel like, because you're going to always have her image and you're going to always have her. It's not like you're going to lose her. You're going to have her. It's just, and it's not like she's going with anybody. It's her dad. Let her go with right. her dad. So, your phone. It's with Michelle. What's it look like? Um, black. Black is a, it's a galaxy. Samsung? Yes, sir. Okay. What's your phone number to it? I don't know it's in there. Like I said, it was in the Oh, that's right. You told me that earlier. It's been a while. Um, so Michelle has that. What's the passcode for it? One way. The word? Yes, sir. The number one and way. W-A-Y? Yes, sir. Okay. And the laptop you have at the house, is it a black laptop? Yes, sir. What's the password for that? Kid Smurf. Spell that for me. K-I-D-S-M-U-R-F. Any capital in there? Um... You can try the capital K. Usually, it's either lower or uppercase. Yes, sir. Um, Kid Smurf one. The story is alternated between Zakaria preferring Harris to her biological father, to her wanting to stay with her dad. This desire isn't unusual in children of separated parents, but Zakaria may have wanted to stay with her father so she could avoid Harris. I think it's one. Kid Smurf 1. It's either Kid Smurf or Kid Smurf 1 for my laptop. That's what I do my music on. Okay. you have a Facebook page or anything like that? No, sir. No, no, Facebook. Um, Instagram? Yes, sir. You do have Instagram? What's, what's your Instagram name? Um, one way, I think. One way. One only way. <clears throat> one what? One only way or one way. It's still it's on my phone. Okay. Um, What's up with that empty room in the house? The, I was going to end up turning it into a studio. The music? Yes, sir. Um, her old sister used to stand there, but not, not uh, Michelle's rooms. And, you know, me, I was like, okay, well, sleep a, like alone. She's a baby. Uh, and then she wants to be around her sister. That's her saying that. So I was just going off with that, and I was going to use my idea of making a studio. Okay. Why would Michelle tell us it was because you didn't think uh, anything? Yeah, that too, because that's of it. her attitude. So it, it was to punish her for her attitude? Just taking things away from her. Well, that's her. how you punish kids. That's a normal way to punish kids. You take away things they have so they'll behave. So they so can behave think. for to earn it instead of just feeling like it's given to you because of you being bad. Okay. So that's what she told us. But you also were going to make it a studio at some point if she never... I was really going to make it a studio around this week. Okay. It recently just happened. So those 50 injuries he mentioned, could anyone else have done that? Because you, we, we, you told us about who takes care of the child that's just doing the show. So could anyone else besides you have done those injuries? Just me and her. Right, but I'm, I'm asking about you. You think Michelle caused any of those injuries? 
to uh, not well, more, probably from some of the whoopings, but I know the ones. So, like I said, those are we've only talked about probably six or seven specifically that you've said, yeah, I did that, and it may be because you just don't remember. But like I said, there's a bunch of those bunch that are there. They exist. Are they from you? They're not from. I, like I said, I didn't. Uh, I remember the doctor saying. Did somebody punch her or kick her? That's why I was like, no, right. no punching, no kicking. All right, so uh, she's... Injuries from this. Okay. She's in your care. She's not in daycare. She's not in school. No one else watches her. And it's during the she day. She has these injuries. Tell me how they get there. Um, did any of them? I mean, she did whoop. She did whoop. And she, how did she whoop them? She whoops with a belt as well. Where did she, she hit them? She turns them on their stomach and she whoops them with a belt. On their buttocks, their back, their legs. Buttocks and back. I remember one time we had to hold on together because can we? So other than the belt marks that are on her butt, back, and legs, could any of those injuries been from Michelle? Other than those. Other than those we just said, the, the belt marks. No. So everything else. Um, I want to move on to another topic we've we've discussed. We've seen some other injuries we saved for last. Um, she got injuries on other parts of her body. Okay. Specifically on her vagina. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, me, tell me about I'm that. Not on that. Okay. I'm not on that. Never touch the child. I'm not on that. If that's where you guys. Well, I'm just, I'm asking you. She's got an injury down there. How would she have gotten that? Um, maybe a Michelle on what we would have built naked. Is there any chance that your DNA is going to come back inside her? No. There's no chance of my DNA going to come back as iron. No, 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 no. You can use that. No, you can swap that. No, sir. No, sir. No, no, this. No, no, this. None of that. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Well, that's easy enough. We'll see. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Well, um, we're going to go out, talk a little bit, and we'll be back in. Um, we asked you a question earlier, I'll ask you again, okay. now that we've kind of been, what, um, we asked you, what happened to the person that did this? Say it again. I asked you earlier, he asked you earlier, what should happen to the person that did this? What do you think should happen to you now? The same thing he said, he would get revenge and bury me. Well, do you think he should go to jail? Yes, sir. How long? How long is it enough to pay for what happened for a five-year-old's life? Oh, she passed. What do the doctors tell you? You know what we know. The doctor said she's not going to recover. Um, you know, this is, this, like I said, I've never been incarcerated. Uh, I would leave it up to be gentlemen. I don't, you, don't, you don't have an opinion? I mean, I don't, I don't want to spend my whole life in jail for a stupid mistake and I messed up. Um, you think it's for your whole life in a grave because of this? No, sir, it's not fair. No, sir, it's not fair from a, from a stupid mistake. From a stupid mistake, no, sir. I don't feel like I was I was in here praying to myself, and I kept hearing uh, I was more scared of a, a, a life for a life. What do you mean? Doing life. You were worried about spending the rest of your life in prison? Yes, because I don't. I'm not that guy, man. I'm not that guy, man. I'm not that guy, and I don't want to lose my kids. I did want to ask you a couple other questions. Were you ever abused as a kid? By my uncle. How? Uh, I never told anyone outside my mom, and she didn't believe me, but he, he, he passed, but he whooped me as far as with his fist. Uh, he had one of his girls friends molest molest me. How old were you? Uh, around twelve, uh, uh, twelve, ten, and nine. Okay. What grades? Uh, what grade did you complete in school? What kind of education did you get? Oh, I, I graduated. I went to uh, college. Did you graduate college, or did uh, you get some college? I did Full Sail University, and I'm gonna graduate okay. next month. From Tulsa, Orlando. Okay. Full sale in Orlando? Yes, sir. Okay. And how was your family life growing up, like with your mom and dad? We moved here. My, I don't know my dad. When we moved here, everything was good. It was me, my brother, my mom, and my sister. 
uh, you and your mom and your brothers and all got along pretty well. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, that's it. All right. Give us a couple minutes, okay? You need anything? You good right now? Do you get some water and your ships and all that still? So if you want to eat, you can. Yes, it's just. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right, give, give us some time, okay? We'll be right back. The detectives may not have gotten a full confession, but just the fact that Harris believes that he is going to jail for his actions shows that on some level, he knows he is guilty. With the mounting evidence against him, it is almost inevitable that Harris will serve time. Sadly, Zakuria died the next day after being taken off life support. A grand jury returned an indictment charging John T. Harris with first degree murder. Michelle Cannamore was charged with second degree murder, child abuse, and child neglect. Both entered pleas of not guilty. They remain in jail without bond while they await their trials. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content and want to support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description below. You'll be able to watch videos with zero ads and some that are too controversial for YouTube, and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Thanks again for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video.